Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I've got my crock pot going this morning, and what I am making is creamy Italian chicken and pasta. It is so delicious. And when you see what's involved in making this creamy, you're gonna be all for it. Now, the pasta is uncooked, and it's gonna go into the crock pot and cook with all of those flavors. So this is all in one pot cooking here. So if you're ready, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you all the ingredients you're gonna need, and then we're gonna build this one up. I've got a six quart crock pot, two and a half to three pounds of skinless boneless chicken. You're gonna want some dry pasta. Now you can either use like an elbow pasta or you can use egg noodles, or you can even use like a corkscrew. You know, at this point, anything you have in your pantry will work. If you have lasagna noodles you need to get rid of, you can break those up and put that in this dish also. You're going to need some chicken broth, some garlic, parsley, some Italian seasoning, mozzarella cheese, and then I've got some cream cheese. Now I'm using a chive and onion flavor. Boy, just imagine the different flavors you could use for this. Or you could just use the regular original flavor of cream cheese. Salt, pepper, and that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and put this all together. I'm gonna be spraying the inside of my crock pot. Now I'm using a six quart. I'm gonna go ahead and place my chicken in the bottom of the crock pot in a layer. And then I'm gonna salt and pepper that layer just a little bit. We want everything to be seasoned as we go along. Then I'm just gonna put some garlic on top of that, just a little bit, there we go. Then I'm gonna place the rest of my chicken on top. I've got all this chicken that I need to use. I had picked up a lot of thin cut chicken. Give it a little bit more salt on top. I'm doing about an eighth of a teaspoon. Some pepper, a little bit more garlic. Probably about two teaspoons of garlic total for this recipe. Now, I have this cream cheese and it is chive and onion flavor. This is an eight ounce package. What I'm gonna do is just put it all over the chicken. Kind of dollop it all around, but this is gonna give it some really good flavor. Now, if you're just using the regular cream cheese, then you can add some onion powder to this, or you can chop up some onion and put it in here, or even some chives if you wanna do that. And in the summertime, it's really nice to double up a recipe. Then you can freeze half of it, or you can put it in your refrigerator for leftovers. That way you don't have to cook the next day. Now this is an Italian kind of flavored dish, so I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Just kind of coat the top of it with it, about one teaspoon. I'm gonna add some dried parsley. Just enough to coat the top of the chicken. All right, we're gonna be putting in four cups of chicken broth. I know that sounds like a lot, but we got dry pasta that we're gonna be adding later, and so we want to be able to have enough liquid in the pot in order to cook our pasta, so that's why. So I want all that delicious flavor that's in my crock pot right now to incorporate into the chicken broth, and that's why I'm adding it all now. Just fill it up. Now, if you wanna half this recipe, you can certainly do that. Just use two cups of chicken broth, and then you can judge the pasta at the end, and I'll show you that when we get to that stage. There we go. I'm gonna place the lid on my crock pot, and we're going to cook this on low for about four to five hours, or on high for three to four hours. You wanna make sure that your chicken is nice and tender and cooked through, and that you can easily shred it. I'll be back. Smells amazing. What I'm gonna do is just take my meat chopper here. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna break up all of the chicken. Now you can either do it inside of the crock pot with two forks or a meat chopper or whatever you have, or you can pull the chicken out, shred it on a cutting board and then put it back in. 
Now we got a lot of liquid in here, which is good. Because as soon as we get our chicken chopped up, we're going to start on the pasta. All right, we've got it all chopped up. Now, depending on if you are cooking your chicken on low or on high, go ahead and place your crock pot on high heat. I have these egg noodles right here. These are no yolk that I think I'm going to be using. These, this is a 12 ounce package, so we're going to see what I can get in there. I'm going to try to get all 12 ounces in there. You can take up some lasagna noodles and break them up and put those in there. Some elbow pasta, whatever you have. It looks like a lot, but believe me, it'll be just fine. I'm just gonna take my spoon here and just try to get the pasta down into the liquid as much as I can. And kind of push the chicken up over the pasta. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lid off every so often and move the pasta around. Now we're looking at 15 to 30 minutes. It depends on the thickness of your pasta and how fast your pasta cooks that shows on the back of the package. So just keep an eye on that. Once your pasta is cooked to the tenderness that you desire, which mine is right here, and it took about 18 minutes, what I'm going to do is turn off the crock pot and then we're going to add eight ounces of some mozzarella cheese. I'm going to shake in a little more parsley and Italian seasoning. About a teaspoon each. And then I'm just going to mix this all together. until that cheese melts. Now, as you can see, all of that liquid was absorbed into the noodles, giving it that wonderful flavor. Oh, look at that cheese. Oh yeah, right there. Crock pot, creamy Italian chicken, and pasta. There's going to be leftovers here. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, I'm going to put this on a plate. I'm going to give it a try for you. I love these all-in-one crock pot meals. Mm, it cooked the pasta just perfectly. The chicken is so tender. And this dish is so full of flavor. Mm, at the end, adding that mozzarella cheese. Oh my gosh, what a level up. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'm on Facebook. I have a recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. I will see y'all on the next episode. Mm.